It's time for reinforcements. Simply know me as Logamus Prime. Welcome back to y'all's truly tuning a reaction thing to Attack on Titan. It is episode 23. It's titled The Raid on Stohez District. Stohez? I don't know how to pronounce this word. The raid that the Scouts Regiment did kind of really went uneventful in the sense of accomplishing anything. A lot of people died. You know, they came home you know, with a tail between their legs. You know, what kind of raid could possibly be even happening again? You have people like Erwin and Levi uh, ready to be reprimanded. You even have Aaron, who more than likely is going to be punished for him transforming into the Titan. Or also for the fact that Aaron was useless again. I really don't have any idea where the direction of the show is going to go from here. All I know is that there's only three episodes left. Uh, there's only 25 episodes for season one. And yeah, we're at the shebang of it all. I don't want to dilly tally too much. Let's just dive in. This is episode 23. Let's do it. <laughs> That's it, Annie? <laughs> what? She has the weirdest of nose. She is my biggest suspect of being the female titan. Well, this is the Solas District, which is the military police. <gasps> Yeah. Ooh, interesting. Oh, well, well, now I'm very suspicious of that little girl. What was she? Wait, so it couldn't be Annie then? Cause she was home the whole time during the attack. Well, are they going to assist the Sky Regiment? See, only assist. Got it. But what's the point of assisting the scouts? What do they need them for? Like, where are they gonna fight the public? Yeah, exactly. Good question, buddy. Why are you protecting the convoy? Oh, because there's a mole, right? But will the military even know this too? Who the details are in that papers? <gasps> what did the people say? Screw-ups. Those screw Ooh, who's there? Probably no one important then. <laughs> Jesus, this guy is so miserable. You gotta love Attack on Titan, man. They, they do not hold back. They introduce so many characters. And I'm writing a list of all these new ones that I'm meeting now. Or maybe maybe this is not the first time we met them then. I don't know. But whatever. This is like Annie's squad. Which more than likely will die fairly soon. <laughs> Everyone dies. What's up with Annie though? She is just not amused. And then this lady over here is just weird. So see, Annie's not just like blindly agreeing with them either. Oh, but she sees she sees a little bit of Aaron in him. What do I feel like this is like a trap? What? Like money doesn't mean anything. So wow, the military is corrupt. Well, he went up to them and he's like, yo, it's illegal to be selling military weapons towards the, pu the public. He's like, was he about to put them under arrest? Who's trying to bribe them? Whoa. I'm like, who hit him? No, you're under arrest, you little bitch! Wow, none of his squad mates are gonna help him? I guess it would happen this way. These are called the pussies. The people who don't want to go out in the field to fight. So they're politically, you know, being puppet masters inside the walls. Oh my god. Ooh, Annie, show him. Kick his ass. Oh, why is he looking at his gun? Oh my god, if he kills himself... He ends up shooting himself. 
<gasps> Is he gonna shoot him? Ooh! He's not gonna do that. No one's gonna do that shit. Yeah. She wants to go against the flow? Uh, so she wants to go, uh, I mean, against the grain? Even if it's meant, you know, people look at her indifferently? Oh, Annie's a little bit complicated right now. Weird. <gasps> Gas, I see someone! Who's that? Who's there? <gasps> it's our man! What does he want with Annie? Oh my god! What if this is a coup? What if this is like Ermin's idea? Like trying to fight against the military? Do you think they'll be capable of doing something like that? Help us let Aaron escape? There goes my theory. <laughs> oh, she doesn't want to help. Why even go up to her anyway? It's not like you needed her help. We're going to kill Aaron. Wow. Wow, Armin. That is the dumbest thing ever. I don't really like the direction of today's episode. You know, for all intents and purposes, she could just turn around and arrest you. Because what you're doing is treason. But she's gonna help. Interesting. Wait, who's supposed to be guarding Eren? How did he... I don't know, walk out so easily. She took his place. Ah, <laughs> oh, he's such a nice guy. So they're finally... gonna take my plan that I wanted episodes ago. Then freaking disappear and go to the other side of the wall and just whatever. They're going through a basement? Why are they going through there? An underground city? And no one's guarding it? Oh, people make no sense to me. Oh man, and I don't trust Annie at all. Why did they go to Annie? They didn't need anybody else but them. She's not going now? She's afraid of going? And she's not helping unless they stay above ground. That is very suspicious. What? What? She betrayed them? Okay, so the big reveal is happening right now. Annie's the female Titan. She killed Hanji's Titans. She took Marco's ODM, which then she could have used herself when she was a female Titan, and then she kind of transformed into a human. Was able to use her thing about the kids. Oh my god! I get it! Masaka. Big ass nose! Oh, wait! Wait! Wait, 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 wait! Is this a trap? Were they trying to get her out? Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Why she's gone mad? Man, they let her monologue way too much. They should have been shot her. Whoa! 
bondage, you know what I'm saying? Hey. <gasps> oh, so she even knew! She even knew! Oh! <gasps> what the hell? Wow. The Kung Fu fighting, wow. Yo, and I thought this was a boring episode. I'm like, oh, they're the Japanese so much. They got any squad. Damn. But damn, it got really interesting in the end there. Let's just talk about today's episode. So pretty much, we get, we get to hang out with Annie throughout the whole episode. We get to see what she's been up to, and I see her being with the military police. We hung out with her colleagues of Hitch and Marlo. You know, and it's cool to see the other perspective of how corrupt and, I don't know, what's the right word here? How disingenuous the military police is, or maybe always been. They're so complacent with, you know, living their day-to-day -day and kind of ignoring the real reality of the Titans and outside the walls. So the scouts' regiments are the real warriors. The military police are just corrupt. Later in the episode, Armin approaches Annie about, hey, like, dude, you should come help us, you know, you're a good person. You know, we we want to get Aaron outside the walls. And honestly, I'm really gullible. I'm, I started, I believe that. I'm like, oh yeah, cool, they're gonna get Aaron outside the walls. <laughs> but deep down, this wasn't even about getting Aaron outside the walls. This is about confronting Annie. This is about, like, psychologically evaluating her, you know? This is about confronting her about, hey, how come you had a dead guy's uh, ODM gear, you know? Like, how come you killed those other two titans that Hans was experimenting on? On top of Annie's respect for Armin, which explains why the female titan never hurts Armin. But Annie understood the ruse. Like, even earlier in the episode when she, when Armin was discussing these things with her, she actually put on a ring, and that ring actually has, like, I don't know, a little spike that she can, you know, inflict pain on herself so she can transform into a female titan. And shit, I'm about to get a real! Oh my god, it ex this doesn't explain a lot, but I do like the confrontation because it did kind of catch me off guard. Which now I'm hoping that in the next episode, it might be a little slower episode, but they'll explain how they came up with this plan, how Armin more than likely went up to Levi, uh, or Armin, or they may even had asked the military police for help over their suspicions with Annie. So this was freaking awesome. This was... Ooh. My biggest concern is there's only two more episodes left in the season. And it's going to be the big showdown with Annie and her female Titan. And now she's actually inside the wall. Like, she's going to be hurting innocent people. My biggest questions are, how did she know she could be a Titan? Who is she working for? And how did she know she could do this? Like, and why did it take her, her so long to want to do that? The whole female Titan transformation. I would have to go back all the way to the beginning of the show to understand Annie's character because... God, like, this is, this is massive. I remember during the Battle of Tross, like, I, when, when Eren first died by the Santa Claus Titan, I remember Annie was around, and she didn't seem like some sort of cold, you know, some stone-cold warrior. She was very, just, I don't know, anti-social into her own world. So, I don't know where this character has come from, like, we gotta know so much about Annie. And hopefully we'll get there in the show. Mind you, what caused her to figure out these abilities? Was it seeing Aaron for the first time, like, you know, be Titan mode? Like, did that manifest in her? Or did she always knew this and she just, I don't know, kept it locked inside? I don't fucking know. I have questions and it's just like, oh, a second time is going in a different direction. You know, I, I am very glad that I'm watching the show. Because I was very surprised. I wasn't sure if the show was going to be good. Sometimes I have that feeling where something is too overly hype ends up sucking. But I'm glad that the hype is so real. And this show's really, so far, has succeeded in my exploitation. So, Alright! Ooh, that about wraps up today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you leave me any positive or negative feedback down in that comment section. Feel free to like this video or subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. If you do... And as always, keep blessed, stay peaceful, and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.